Hello guys, uh, when I create the menu fillet, I want to show you a way that you can do it by yourself manually and you don't need the default fillet to work. That's why it takes longer. Many viewers wanted me to uh, find a faster way to do a menu fillet. So thanks for the uh, constructive comments from this user. His idea is very good. Uh, but uh, the final result when doing this way is the topology of the fillet is not what I want. So we can fix the topology using surface. So today I decided to recreate this menu fillet exercise using a combination between the menu fillet and the default fillet. So basically the default fillet will do 50% of work and your menu is 50%. So we can save time doing this way, but be aware that the final result will be a little bit different from the menu fillet. And you can try that to see how different that is. Okay, so I will quickly uh, create a new sketch in the part workbench. Uh, I'm creating a new sketch in the front and creating polyline. And selecting these two points and hit C, uh, these two lines and hit E for ego, these two lines and hit E for ego. Then I uh, select in this line and set the distance to 80 and this line uh, to 10. Now I can close. Uh, I will extrude this one to 100 and symmetric. Okay. Next, I will create in another sketch on the top. I create in a circle. Uh, I view the session. I create in a circle right uh, on the red line and set the diameter to 40. And the distance from this point to the center point is 40 as well. And I close. I will issue this one to also 100 and symmetric. Okay. And I will control selecting this one and then this one, the cylinder, and I will cut it. So now if I try to fillet of these two lines the same time with the radius is 8. Okay. I will fail and I cannot do that. I go back. I delete in the fillet and instead fillet uh, the same time I will select uh, this line first and fillet this one to uh, 8 okay and then I will select in this line and I will fillet it also 8 okay you can see now uh, the fillet working fine Next, I want to face the transition between uh, in this line right here between these uh, three surfaces. So how to do that? So I will uh, first, I will remove, uh, you can see this surface down here will go up a little bit. All right. So I will flat this one out by cutting it a little bit. So cutting it about here. And then I also remove this surface and then this surface. Okay. And then I will cut this surface up here. Like this. And I will remove this surface over here. And you can see now I have a big hole and I will use the surface to fill this uh, hole in here. So to do that, I will go into the rock workbench. 
and I will create in a clone of this fillet. I will create in a new clone and I will hide the fillet. And for this fillet, I click on the fillet and go to the downgrade. Now I have uh, many faces in here. Next, I will uh, remove this face. So I will control selecting this face and then this face and I will delete it. Okay. And I want to uh, join this face and this face together. So I select uh, these two faces and I go to upgrade. Okay, now I have a new compile. I select all of these faces on top and I hide it. Now I go to the left view and let me uh, go to the product workbench. In the product workbench, I will create in a new sketch in the the right view, but I click on the reverse direction for the left view, and I click OK. Now I will um, reference this arc in here. Okay, this arc here, and also this one, and then this one. And I view the section. Uh, I will create in a rectangle. Like this on top and another one in here at the bottom. Okay. I select in this line and then this point and I hit C. This line and this point. I hit C. Doing the same in here, this one and this one, hit C. This one and this one, hit C. I click on the view section again and you can see I need the rectangle on top. Should go over the surface on on top like this. And the uh, and the rectangle at the bottom. I want this point and this point right here. You can see this point right here. And I hit H for horizontal constraint. Okay? Now I close and I have something like this. Now I will extrude this one to in the y s axis negative one and let's try 100 and OK. And then I just simply control selecting the compile and the extrude and I go to cut. Yes. Now I will show all of these faces okay and i ship select all of these faces also the cup and i go to the fusion the union yes now i go to the surface workbench and i click on the filling tool and starting to fill the surface and choose the G1 continuity for all of these faces. And I click OK. And again, I control select in the fusion and the surface. And I go to the curve bend and Parametric solid. Click on the solid and view deviation down to 0 0.01. Okay. So uh, let's see the uh, the result. So I think it's, it's pretty good. Okay, so for the second exercise, I will uh, also use it the product workbench. And I create in a new sketch on the top view. I will create in a center rectangle like this. And I set the lane to 
50 for this line and 100 for this line. I close and I will extrude this one and the negative one in the Z axis and I go to 20. And I will write in another sketch on the top view. Uh, write in a circle and set the diameter to 50 and I close I will extrude this one to also 20 okay and I will control the left visual and I go to fusion and if I try to fillet all of these uh, edges with um, the radius is 6 Okay, I just fell, so I go back, so I delete in the fillet. And instead of uh, using the fusion in here, so I will delete in the fusion, and I will fillet these two edges, and I go to the fillet with the radius is 6. Okay, and next I want to move the cylinder down to 6 mm because I also want to fillet this one to 6 so that I want this line right here to touch this line right here okay before I'm doing the fillet so I go to selecting this one the uh, is true the cylinder and I go to the transform and I type in here 6 and I and I move this one down to six, and I click OK. But uh, this cylinder will be uh, shorter, so I need to make this uh, one longer. So I select in the uh, is true, and I go down to the data and the forward length. I will uh, add this one to twenty six for that to make this one longer uh, six mm. Then I control select in the field that which is this one and the extrude zero zero one and I go to the fusion okay next I will uh, fill that again so I can uh, select in all of these uh, edges and I go to the fill that with six okay so you can see the fillet working fine, but I need to uh, first improve this area. I will I will do in a cut from here to here and remove this surface. I will remove these two surfaces and also remove this area. And also doing a simple cut like this and remove this one and then this one okay and then I will use the surface to fill the hole to do that again I go to the drop open and I click on the grid to turn on this one off and I click on the fusion and click on the clone to create a new clone and I hide the field that then I click on the clone and go to the downgrade and I will control selecting this surface this surface and come over here to the outer side and control selecting this one and this one and I will delete it okay um, then I will wanting to join this surface okay uh, and also this one this one and I come to the other side this one and then this one together all right and then I go to the upgrade and I will hide all of these faces on top and I have something like this Next, I will go to the right view and I go to the product weapons. In the product weapons, I will create in a new sketch in the right view. And for this sketch, I will reference this line in here and this line in here.
also uh, this line and then this line and then I can view the session I will create a rectangle uh, start from this line okay start from this line and go down here and I select in this line and this point and I hit C to snap it together this line and this point and hit C and make sure this line um, is over down here and I close I will issue this one to 100 and say magic okay and then I just simply control selecting the compound and it is true. And I will cut it. Now I will show all of these faces. And we have something like this. I shift select all of these faces and also the cut. And I go to fusion. Next, I will go to the curve workbench to create a line to control uh, the shape of the surface. So I go to the curve workbench. And I will control selecting this point and then this point. And I create a line. Then I go to the surface workbench. And click on the filling tool and start filling the surface. And I click on the add constraints and I click on add edge and click on this edge. And then I can click on each edge and choose the face and the G1 for that. And I click OK. Now I again select in this surface and I go to the product workbench and I go to the mirror. Mirror this one in the YZ plan. And I click OK. Now I will hide the line and I will control selecting the fusion, the surface, mirror, and the surface. And I go to the curve workbench and click on parametric solid. Alright, so let's see the final result. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next video.